and then decide, okay, cool. They want to be e-commerce, podcasting, whatever it might be, or even crypto, decide from now. But you got to start with investing in yourself first. Another thing too, and I want to say this as well, because I've noticed this with like the Gen Z guys. And this is going to be brutally honest for a lot of you young guys that are watching, but I'm just going to be very blunt about this because I've noticed this on consultations when people call in, etc. A lot of you guys watch YouTube, TikTok, um, social media in general, Instagram, and you see all these laptop entrepreneurs and y'all want that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to be a thousand with you. Most of you, number one, are not cut out to be entrepreneurs and can't uh, and won't be entrepreneurs. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with working a job, right? Earning a lot of money, taking that, that earned income from a regular job and investing it into assets, right? I know doctors that are real estate investors. I know lawyers that are real estate investors. And what they slowly do is they work their, their high paying job with their skill. They make money earned income, invest into assets, and then they slowly start to buy their time back. They work less hours. They go to the office maybe one time a week for a surgery here and there. And then they slowly start to kind of say, okay, I'm good now. And then they leave, right? There's nothing wrong with doing that either, guys. The goal, okay, I, want this, I really want to stress this to all the young guys watching this. The goal isn't to be an entrepreneur. The goal is to make a lot of money so you can invest in assets to buy your time back, okay? Now, an entrepreneur is the fastest way to do it, but a lot of you guys are not cut out to be entrepreneurs, okay? So what I want to tell y'all is that some of you might have to go get a trade. Some of you might have to go get a skill. Some of you might have to work a job, make some money, save, and then buy the asset, and there's nothing wrong with that, all right? So I just want you guys to know that there's other paths to, uh, to financial freedom that doesn't necessarily require you to be an entrepreneur, yeah. all right?